Hi, Kim Watson here today with a new process video for my page Reality Check created for the Hip Kit Club Tuesday Sketch Challenge. Um, this sketch was designed by Jessica Fabiano. Let's get started. Uh, using the beautiful May kits, I chose one of the stunning papers from Pink Fresh Studio called Dream On. Using this background, it's pretty neutral. I like the bright pops of color and it sort of gave the whole page a fresh vibe. Now, focusing on the circles, which um, the sketch reflected, I cut some pattern papers using my Martha Stewart circle cutter, and I chose the cheerful paper from Maggie Holmes for crepe paper, and the chamille little by little, oh, actually it's called little bit of lovely, don't mind me. <laughs> Anyhow, cut the two circles, I really like the, the bright yellow color together with the softer pink and then chose one of the exclusive journal cards which I designed. Ah, Martha Stewart circle cutter. There we go. Um, anyhow, so I chose one of the, the journal cards which I cut the central little wreath design out of the card and used it as an accent and as a mat for part of my title. The beauty about this journal card is that it has all the colors that I have selected to be the main colors in this page in the actual design, so it ties everything together really nicely. I then grabbed some of those lovely chipboard flowers from Crate Paper, layering them underneath the circle. My whole um, objective with this page is to try and, try and get some, some lovely layers going, and then what I eventually did is popped all the layers up with different heights of foam adhesive. Um, so it really gives the page a lovely 3D effect. Here I am just, just furthering that whole circle vibe from the sketch. There is something so pleasing about selecting a shape or a motive and repeating it within your page design. Here what I'm doing is just shifting things slightly lower. There's something so, so um, great about focusing in on the, the actual thirds of the page when you layer your elements, um, you will notice that I'm working in the top two thirds of the actual 12 by 12 paper. Uh, again, it just brings better balance to the overall page design. Um, I selected some gold accents. You'll notice there's the little hello chipboard word and the gold heart, and I add a third piece a little bit later on. Um, I just find that if I, I somehow stick to my rule of thirds not only in terms of the page layout but also in terms of how I I choose my elements it just brings an overall cohesiveness to the actual design mixing my elements together with the die cut ephemera and the chipboard and puffy stickers and some really um, broad 3d buttons it further just really helps that lovely layered 3D vibe, which I'm trying to achieve with this page. You know, it's tricky designing pages about your, yourself. Um, I just personally hate taking photographs of myself. I know we tend to be so personally critical, don't we? But uh, I was happy with this photo. I wasn't wearing my glasses, which also was quite weird for me, but um, it was a newly purchased selfie stick that I was testing out. And actually I was quite pleased with the results. So I decided with my birthday having been on the 4th of May that I would get sort of up close and real about my feelings about getting older. So this page was quite something for me to design and to be really, really honest in my journaling, which you'll see later. Talking about journaling, I wanted to journal on this page, but didn't want to use the yellow circle, which is sort of the obvious route because it has journal lines. So using some of the shimmers, paints, um, matte finish uh, gesso, I just smushed some around with my finger underneath this layer, underneath the layers. Um, and then once dried, dries quite matte, so I was able to use that as my journal area. Here are some lovely exclusive um, enamel dots, which uh, Hip Kit Club includes fairly often in their kits. I like to, again, to group them in threes, and I don't like to mix the colors. I think it gets too busy, so I group them per uh, by color. So the one side is pink, the other side is yellow. Here I'm drawing myself some five millimeter journal lines. 
I had prepped my journaling beforehand to get a feel for how much space I needed. So I knew that if I had approximately 14 lines of five mils apart, that I could fit all my journaling in. And here I'm just using a fiber, a fine fiber tip pen. Um, it's fiber Castell. It worked really well on the gesso without smudging. And then I just wrote my feelings down sometimes. I think, you know, if your kids read back through your albums, it's, it's, it's easy sometimes to create a page for the artistic content and you just add a few token lines. But I think it'll be great one day when my kids are grown up to be able to read, read my journaling and my thoughts and get a feel for how I felt um, you know, at this age. It's, sometimes it's really good to, have, to, to remember to be real in your actual scrapbooking. I don't know if you agree. There was these really, really cute ephemera that, again, Kimberly Hutchinson designed and include in this kit this month. And I was determined to try and find a space for these cute arrows. And I tried and I fiddled, but couldn't find a right spot. And then settled on this, what matters most? The content is perfect for my page. And I love the way it grounds that, that area of, of the, the design. So there we have it, my page. I was really, really happy with the result. Um, I loved the fact that I was able to achieve that really 3D vibe, which I was looking for from the beginning. Here I chose some tonal accents from the Shamil uh, sticker pad. I just took some yellow alphas on top of the yellow and a little yellow sentiment called Noted. Again, it's just to add interest. They do pertain correctly to, to the actual design, as in that they actually mean something. But I love the fact that they are color on color tonal. So here's my page, the finished article. I'm really, really pleased with it. Some close-ups for you to have a good look at how I layered my elements. And remember that if you pop over onto the Hip Kit Club forum over on Facebook, every Tuesday we have our sketch challenge. You will find the design team get involved and they add their takes on the sketch. Plus the winners could, could have it or stand a chance to win a $10 store voucher. So. I really hope to see you here next week. Thank you for listening. I've enjoyed doing this process video. Bye-bye until next time.